Someone take charge here. Hey, how you going? Well, I live to serve you, mate. Well, welcome back. <laughs> Always nice to start the parliamentary year here together. Hey! Oh! There we go. Hey. What are those idiots doing? <laughs> Welcome home. Remember when Philip Lowe told the nation there would likely be no interest rate hikes until 2024? The Reserve Bank has raised interest rates for the ninth time in a row. Tenth consecutive interest rate hike. We are closer to a pause and it's a matter of logic really. Well, the pause was short-lived. The issue for mortgage holders is, are they the meat in the sandwich here? The current communicator in Chief's term expires in September. If the government uh, would like me to stay, then I'm happy to stay. <laughs> Michelle Bullock will become the first woman to ever lead the Reserve Bank in this country. The starter's gun has been fired. A proposed law to alter the Constitution to recognise the First Peoples of Australia. But there was a resounding no to the Prime Minister's Canberra voice. Olivia Thorpe has sensationally walked out on the Greens. Treaty before voice. To not put this to a vote is to concede defeat. <laughs> no. Millions of Australians are heading to polling booths. Ex exercise of Australian democracy. Sad day. I had some butterflies in my tummy. We now have no path for the Yes campaign. Australia has voted no. Three states voting no, the referendum is defeated as well. Whatever happens in Queensland and Western Australia. As Prime Minister, I will always accept responsibility. I know the last few months have been tough. This is the referendum that Australia did not need to have. Now changing pace slightly, I'm sorry. Yeah. Hello. Some sort of long necked turtle. Isn't she lovely? The tongues were smelling, right? Yes. Oh, they're very large teeth, you have. Ah, oh, she's very sweet. Alan Tudge will quit Parliament today, triggering a by election battle in the Melbourne seat of Aston. <sighs> Sorry, just bear with me for a second. I know there is a cold sweat dripping down his back. Not quite your standard. No, no, no. <laughs> You've had no enforced errors yet. Yeah? Labor has made history and will win the Aston by-election. I guess I'll be your next member for Aston, eh? Yeah! I'm proud to be your shipmate. Anthony Albanese has defended the extent of his overseas travel. I'm sorry I didn't bring my sound people with me. So <laughs> I'm not quite sure how I top this for date night with Jody. Uh, people were saying that uh, we have a handsome boy coming from Australia. Hey. How are you? There you go. I look forward uh, to uh, heading home, I've got to say. Oh, Palestinian gunmen have crossed into Israel, opening fire on civilians in a surprise dawn attack. As we go to air, reports are emerging of Israelis being taken captive. Allah Akbar! Citizens of Israel, we are at war. It was the slaughter of innocent people. The forecourt became an angry shade of red. I saw anti-Semitism being expressed. If they're visa holders, the visa should be cancelled immediately. We can't say we only grieve for certain people who are slaughtered. An explosion at a busy hospital in Gaza. Based on what I've seen, it appears as though it was done by the other team, not, not you. The international community will not accept ongoing civilian deaths. This Prime Minister needs to stand up and to be united with the Jewish community. And he's not. And what we have seen Order. from this the bloke member for here Fairfax is consistent and the member for with his entire political the career. Member for Israel and Hamas have agreed to a four-day temporary ceasefire to allow for the release of hostages. So I would like to make it clear, we are at war and we will continue the war. Order. My question is to the Prime Minister. My question is to the Prime Minister. The question is to the Prime Minister. My question is to the Prime Minister. My question is to the Prime Minister. Prime Minister. Prime Minister of our country. Order. Most of you here in question time, I reckon. <laughs> Order. The member for Barker has been continually interjecting and will leave the chamber under 94A. Merry Christmas.
Merry Christmas. Oh. Hello. Merry Christmas. We are officially launching Christmas for the whole nation for 2023. Who loves Christmas? This is a fine Christmas tradition. I want other parents to share the joy that I have over years of having to step across Lego. I hope that uh, 2024 is a more peaceful time. So I wish everyone a Merry Christmas.